Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was an amazing episode. I mean, Grand Inquisitor in his turn was so campy. I loved it, you know? In the gutters. <laughs> so good, so good. And then, you know, Rebels was always safe. And can we talk about that? Oh, yeah. Vader and that yeah. fight of it? <laughs> yeah, man, it, it was nice to see Obi-Wan continue that sort of like physical return from the last episode. Even if it's like the mental stuff, I still think I need a little bit more of. But, I mean, just seeing him become General Kenobi again. Ooh, like, and then just negotiating Reva into that trap. I, I loved it. I really did. And, I mean, just Vader just kept ripping apart that ship. To, Ooh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. God yeah, damn. Sure. I, I, I agree. I mean, the Anakin Obi-Wan flashback duel just being spliced up throughout the episode, guys. And Vader just learning from that past flashback and then using it against Riva and not even using his own lightsaber. Oh man, he was so sassy. I, I loved it. True, true, true. Okay, this was the best of the worst, but it's still like Riva's show. And even if Vader was as strong as he always should have been from the start, I mean, I repeat, she can't act. And now she's still alive and going for Luke. Like this show is going to break canon so much more and looks so cheap without doing any de-aging at all. I do agree. I am a bit worried about all this Luke and Tatooine stuff that's coming up. I mean, he doesn't know what a lightsaber is or what the Force is in A New Hope. But, you know, I'm, I'm confident that Chow and her crew will nail this finale, for sure. I mean, we do finally get to understand her actions and her reactions, you know, like what her motivation is kind of all makes sense now. And Grand Inquisitor is right about revenge. Every single dark side user just somehow survives these like mortal wounds, you know? I, I don't know guys, yeah, this show is gonna fail in the finale for y'all. I just, just, just watch. Hey dude, it, it got me back. I mean, and I thought Hayden looked fine for the majority of the flashbacks. But I mean, serious. I'm I'm just here for the rematch of the century. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. The return of the king. I mean, folks. That's all I gotta say. I mean, space Jesus is risen, and. Oh, I got Force Ghost! And two, 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 two. Great finale. Just seeing Hayden underneath the mask and the whole creepiness of it with its voice mixed in with James Earl Jones. Wow. And, like, wow, that fight was so amazing, man. And Vader had the high ground and he still lost. No, no, no. I mean, amazing fight. Of course, of course. But all that Reva stuff just really highlighted that, you know, how much Owen and, like, Brew love that Luke kid, man. Like, it makes that disintegration scene in episode 4 hit way more, knowing that they kind of always knew this is sort of their fate, you know? Just, <laughs> yeah, I, I loved it, I loved it. And then Moses, you know, she just delivered in that final, like, emotional scenes, like, that breakdown of hers, and then she didn't show that lightsaber to Luke. She didn't break cannon, right? He doesn't see when he's pulled back to the ground. I love that, I love that. I mean, yeah, and yeah. who can forget? <laughs> Hello there. there. They made Vader so, so weak. I mean, ugh, this duel needed to be at least double the length. I mean, Obi-Wan just was going to go to Alderaan after all that happened when Reva is still alive and there with all that knowledge. Like, should have killed her or something. Like, just ugh, he doesn't even try to kill Vader, too. That's what annoys me so much. Like, what the hell? Ugh, we choke. The Reva thread feels like it's going to be something explored in Jedi Survivor or something big real soon. And Kenobi must have felt some pity and disconnect once Vader accepted responsibility of sorts, you know, from a certain point of view. I mean, sh strike him down and Vader probably just comes down even more machine than man. Don't forget. Again, idiotic show. I don't see how it any of you enjoyed these episodes it ruined everything and leia knows too much about obi-wan like in qui-gon he looks so old 
yeah, look, I, I'm not really sure why Obi-Wan just walks away this time, and the Inquisitors all kind of disappeared after part four, but, I mean, Obi-Wan did tell Leia that they kind of have to keep it on the down low, that they you know, know each other, if they ever connect with each other again. So it makes sense to me. And look, man, if, if you don't like it, that's totally fair. But the rest of us really enjoyed it and can't wait to rewatch. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this final part of my Star Wars fans react to Obi-Wan Kenobi skit series. Um, it was a bit long-winded, but I hope you guys enjoyed my sort of paradizing and satirizing of all the different interactions and reactions I had to watching Obi-Wan Kenobi with the rest of the fandom. Some of this, again, is true. Some of it is false. Um, but let me know down below if you had very similar or very different experiences. And make sure to like this video and all the videos of this skit series if you enjoyed it. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And you'll also be able to find this and the other two parts of the series on Instagram and TikTok as well. Make sure to subscribe to us, as always, on this channel. And if you're an audio podcast fan, you can find us on Anchor, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, as well as many other podcast platforms. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.